Hello there, everybody, and welcome to my benevolent good guy, Rimworld Vampire Colony, where we are the benevolent good guys. But it's quite hard being the good guys. You walked in at a bad time. You're not helping my point. It's hard to be a morally upstanding good empire when your own citizens are suffering. We have to put their needs first. I am happy to say that as soon as we solve our hemogen, comfort, and art issues, then I am happy to give our abundant resource and love to the rest of this planet. Because that is what good guys would do. So anyway, yesterday Anne became a necromancer. <laughs> and with it, she unlocked the ability to raise necromantic thralls. She can puppet the corpses of her enemies to do her bidding. If we do it for good... I would argue that that is uh, an acceptable tool in her arsenal. I saw a lot of commenters offer the same suggestion. What if we use Anne's ability to puppet one of the Dracul Masters, the unwaveringly loyal Dracul Masters in a biopod? I'm not sure which one of you, though, was the Dracul Master. Was it Lucky? I think it was Lucky. Let's crack open a cold one with the boys. Hello there, Lucky, or should I say, oh very unlucky at this point first things first we have to kill them how do we kill that which cannot be killed um we haven't really thought this through damn you comment section presume that'll just oh oh you can kill them oh well that's fine and then you pop it their corpse and sweet precious and you pop it their corpses oh hey put that down lilu you Fucking fool. Then we puppet their corpse. Who is the master of the Dracul Masters? Well, I think it's none other oh, than Anne. Oh my god, it actually worked. Comment section. You're a genius. Oh, look, there we are. Select so Anguin, the necromancer that controls this thrall. And then we can always sever the connection whenever we need to. Do you just act like a regular colonist now? Corpse puppeteered by a necromancer using ancient Slodic magic. Ooh, it is simply an extension of its masters. Disables almost all needs and thoughts, as well as providing a total immunity to pain. The thralls will not improve their skills, but their skills will not decay over time. So they're locked in 90% consciousness. They're immune to all diseases. They have no toxic, uh, or, or, or they're less susceptible to toxins. No fertility, which is are concerning. I wonder if they'll still need hemogen. I presume they still would need hemogen, right? But that's kind of cool. And puppeting the corpses of her of of her fallen enemies who refuse to join her for for good. For good. It's fine. It's just a tool. And of course, a new life means a new name. Sigrun Blackwood. A great vampiric sounding name from my names list. And to celebrate a tasty neuroformer. Do you think they eat them? Do you think they'd um, plug them into their brain? Maybe they're a uh, suppository. Just very concerning, given that they're almost the same size as the people using them. Now, today, and I know I said this yesterday, finally, we tidy up the stockpile. We get a dedicated crafting room, 10 episodes in, and this will be the faction base for the crafters of our vampire society. We have the Achaemians, who are the mad scientists, the geneticists, the researchers. We have Anne's Sanguophages, the standard rulers of the society, all-round useful builders of the empire. Then, of course, the panelings are the ones feeding the whole colony. So we need to track down a new sanguophage type that is good at crafting, preferably. And then I'll make slippery and cups those, because they're Again, they craft meals, they craft artwork. I know what you're thinking. How would a good guy bring a brand new sanguophage into their society? Of course, they would put a bouncy on their head. The uh, Broxa, that's probably not how that's pronounced. Bruha, Bruza, I don't know. Uh, they are at least ones that work well in the dark. And I think for cave dwelling crafters constantly sat indoors, that could be quite appropriate. Volker and Slippery started a social fight and Slippery got downed. Oh, I mean, to be fair, you were fighting a... You were fighting a vampire. Items from Compassion. <gasps> the components! Oh, shit. 22 components. And we've also got an exhausted goods trader. Hold on. 
But I just put my kidnapping with good guys. Kidnapping idea on cooldown a second. All right, so after 20 minutes of me crying and screaming, there's a lot of great items they've got, right? They've got the death rest capacity cell and archite capsules, which will be eventually incredible. Thrall limit tomes and, and arco tech eyes and all sorts of artwork. The point is there is one thing here that I really want, and it's the Vikings Ultra Weapon. Unlocks, crypto crossbows, crypto hatchets, crisp, crypto everything. Crypto everything, right? I thought that was perfect for vampires because weapons that keep people suspended and stop them bleeding out is perfect for vampires who would value the blood. The problem is, I'm not sure even if I sell everything, we can afford this. This is, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I can't not take it. Think of how rarely this is going to pop up. I'm, I'm selling them like a lot, like pretty much all the gold. And my legendary skeleton, oh, I'm so sorry, but it was just wood. It had a low, a low upfront cost, but oh, just take it. Just take it. I'm not happy about that, but what choice did I have? Oh, interesting. So Sigrun's Hemogen bar does drop, but the death rest bar doesn't. Constantly 100% should death rest in 27 days, but that hasn't changed at all. So the only thing we've got to worry about with them is the Hemogen then. That's very cool. And they're a very strong fighter too. If they die... So what? We just bring them back. They're tough and heat inclined, which is pretty fun for a sanguifage. Oh, Piapos became an adult, my friend. Hello. My God, you look majestic. Choose one skill for Piapos to increase his passion for. Um, animals artistical construction. Ugh. They're all bad. <laughs> I guess we'll go with, um, I guess we'll go with, with, uh, artistic. It's your best skill. And then a trait for you. Teetotal, uh, Night Owl, or Heat Inclined. Um, they're all kind of okay. I think I'll take Heat Inclined, though. He's not like this. I've actually got to make some bloody progress today. Hello there. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Just an enormous, frightening Goliath. Why not send our lovely new friend, Sigrun, to go and investigate? Okay, here we go. Reinforcements are dropping. This is fine. I'd rather know what I'm fighting. A scyther and a couple of pikemen. Um, I need to bait you over to the embrasures, if you don't mind. Dangerous. Absolutely dangerous. Oh my god, you legend. <laughs> I can't believe that stupid idea worked. That was great. Well done, Sigrun. I'm so impressed. Okay, hold on. If we keep... Just keep them aggroed, but keep them at a distance. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Great plays. Are they actually following us now? Can, can we bait them over to the... Ah! Okay, forced weather. We'll deal with that in a moment. Are they actually... Uh, yeah, they're actually baited over and coming up to the embrasures. This is good. Careful, 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 careful. Hey, come a little closer. A little closer. There we go. Keep the pressure on. Nice. Good kill. All we've got to do is bait them around this corner. Ah, the fire. Come on. Oh, come on. Just a turn a little bit closer. What are you doing? Come on, walk. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. All they have to do is poke their head around this corner. And we should be good. Fire. Shoot them. Shoot them. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. That's good. That's that's good enough for me. Okay, jump to freedom, my friend. You've done great work. Oh my god, it worked like a charm. Oh, it worked like a charm. It's real. Big brain time. Okay. That Goliath's very scary, but I think we should be fine. We've got a lot of good cover there. And they're in complete darkness. Well, to be fair, so are we. Honestly, I think sending Sigrun back in. I mean, what are they going to do? Kill her? I did it first. I'd like to see you try. I think we jump Sigrun in and just go for another execute. Even if it just does a little bit of damage or knocks them down. Nice. Nice. There you go. It takes it out of combat. That's the important part. Go. Nice. Good bash. Okay. Injured. Injured. Injured is fine. I'm all right with that. A great distraction. What a great distraction you are. Just stay within melee. I think we push down. I think we take the advantage and we just push forward. Like get Mona in there with the sword. She could probably execute it even if Sigrun can't. Oh my god. Somebody just... Somebody just lassoed up the pikeman. God damn it. We've got to be more careful with that. I need to put that on full manual because this is this is causing a lot of issues. No, don't worry about the pikeman. Just kill the Goliath. Pikeman's no problem. Hey, and then execute. Oh, Sigrun, you've already paid for yourself. Oh my God. Look at that. We got one more pikeman that didn't come up for whatever reason and the militia. But this should be, this should be a simple task for Anne. Yeah, hello there. Oh, you whiffed that completely, didn't you? Oh, come on. <laughs> and problem solved. Anybody lose anything? That's the important thing. Death, it doesn't matter about, but knocking off limbs, that's a pain in the ass. Everybody's fine. Oh, Sigrun, you legend. That was it. That was great. You were worth your weight. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Cryogenic power. 
Well, I have been looking for you for some time, my friend. Granted, I haven't got any resources, so don't ask me to build the bloody thing. As long as it's just steel and components, we're good. Group of whom? From where? Who? Sanguine Deers. Hello. Uh, like, jump to location. Are you telling me that what they just they just walked on the map and then immediately walked away? Oh, they did a 360 and walked away. The, the one animal that sounds as if it would be perfect for this colony. Very angry. Very angry. So what I've decided to do, you know, rather than uh, <laughs> organize the stop pile, what I've decided to do is hollow out another enormous area. This is going to be the throne room for whoever we put in charge of the research squad. It's probably going to be a Volker, let's be honest. And then this area at the end is where we'll throw the throne for the crafting squad. I'll be honest, it'll probably be slippery. And maybe it will be Cops, actually, because Cops is an artist, whereas Slippery is just a chef. Cops is more skilled in artwork than Slippery is skilled in chefery. What did I just say? I don't know if I said that in the right order, but I think you understand. Bryogenic power one. Weeks in the making. Hello. Oh, and drug production. I can finally eat mushroom. Thank you. What do we need for cryogenic power? Oh my god. Oh no. Nutramine. 50 gold, 8 advanced components. Holy shit, it produces 8,000 watts, which is pretty impressive. Puts a dangerous amount of cold air into the cave, but requires no fuel source. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can work with that. We might have to dig a vent out from this base like I did with the, with the freezer in the other base. Otherwise, I think it'll be just too cold and everybody will die horribly from... The cold transfer through the stone. Chem fuel, neutramine. So at very minimum, uh, we've already got biofuel refining. So we just need to go and buy a shitload of neutramine, which I sold earlier to try and get those bloody tech prints. And then we need a shitload more gold. I think it's time we caravan out with my good friend Toongi again. Oh no, we've got so much to build. Anne. Anne can go. She's only meditating. Beowulf blood? What the hell? Blood from a dead werewolf who contains foreign bodies that appear mutagenic in nature can be used to make a lycanthropic elixir. Oh, well, I'm just going to sell it because it's 500 a kilogram. So we'll sell that. We'll sell the go juice as well. I want that oil painting. I haven't really got much to barter with. That's the only problem. Drug production. Now, what am I looking for, really? Any of the royal stuff, of course, would be fantastic. Carriols would be good. It's just a shame I've sent Anne out already. Granted, we're not going to have the resources to build this, right? Um... Psychite refining leads to neutroamine. Huh. Well, that could certainly cut out the middleman. All right, let's go for it then. We are not going to sell drugs. I'm well aware I'm about to go sell some go juice, but that's, you know, that, that's, that's acceptable. We're not going to have some mass drug production or something like that because we are the good guys. I've got a question. Can one sanguophage implant their genes into another? Because we've got Aloe. She's incredibly good at medical and intellectual. She would fit perfectly into a Volca and Lilu Xenotype. I'm going to see if we can give her the stab. See if we can overwrite her basic... Oh my god. You can? Oh shit. Oh shit, you can. Oh, we can just transfer them around the houses then. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you're a perfect addition to these guys. Because then we have three default Sanguifages and Bazaroto Tungi. We've got three of the Panlings. We've got three of the Akimians. And then, obviously, we'll just have two of the whatever the crafting type we get. I guess with... What if we keep the Dracules specifically to be Thralls of Anne and to be Colony Defenders? Because I'm not going to be super upset if they die, given that they've already died before. <gasps> We could... Oh, this is big brain. What do vampires have in their castles? Gargoyles. And what are gargoyles? They are statues that come to life, generally to defend the castle. What if we add the Statue of Colonists mod, or that other statue mod I used before, that lets you store colonists in statues? We get people turning up, we free the, the Dracules from the statues, they become attack gargoyles. This is enormously large brain and then we can make maybe a xenotype or we could give them some oh no i kind of like keeping them as dracul we give them some outfits that look you know gargoyle give them stone skin glands i'm a genius i'm a genius this is the best idea i've ever had oh you see i'm far too clever for you now no more buying far too much steel that i simply can't carry thank you i appreciate that we didn't get exactly what i was after we couldn't even sell the werewolf blood but we did get 198 gold which is a good start and what in terms of neutral i mean 92 so we still need to 
Caravan out again, annoyingly. Any sort of Neutramium production would be amazing, but I guess I'll take prosthetics. I think that's long overdue at this point. So if we want to get Hemogen out of the network, we have to use the Hemogen taps to dispense the Hemogen, and then Hemogen drains to drain the bottles in. I'll be honest, I quite like having the dining room filled with a whole bunch of fancy shelves filled with Hemogen bottles. I quite like that. In the vat itself, we've got 133 packs. So if we got desperate, we could slap down a drain. I don't think it's necessary. Like, we're absolutely swimming in Hemogen these days. And that pretty much solves the only problems these vampires could ever have. Missing limbs. Like, we've got a lot of missing limbs, too. Ooh. Bonnet replacements. Take it a step further. I mean, look, we've got a pretty good resource flow at this point. So I think I'm, I'm happy to stick with it. Let's keep going. Gift. A gift from the sky. A group of Imperial deserters have arrived in transport pods. They're trying to kill Mona and Anne, unsurprisingly. Hello. Oh. <laughs> You've really done it there, haven't you? They crash landed through the roof and trapped themselves between the, the gate and the rocks that they landed in. Oh, well, brilliant. Great work. We'll just leave them there to starve to death then, huh? I also love the fact that pretty much all of... Ah, uh, careful. All of Anne's empire was built up... Uh, like, a lot of these cities have been built up out of converted... Maybe brainwashed, some might say. Wrongly, of course. We are the good guys. Converted deserters. Oh, how long have we got on death rest for all these people? Ages. A very, very long time. Okay, forget about Bazrota then. Let's see what we can do. Oh, you guys really have fucked this one up, haven't you? My God. I can see why the Empire wasn't so bothered about getting you back. This is incredible. This is the worst raid I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's the plan? What am I supposed to do? I guess we'll dig a wall out here? I don't think I've really got a choice. Okay, do that, and then bring all the melee characters up to the front, and we just open the gate and get them in the meat grinder. Well, here goes nothing then, I suppose. We could dash in and immediately go for the execute on, like, three of them. I don't want to kill them. I don't want to kill them, because obviously I'd really like to just get the... I'd, I'd really just like to get them as prisoners, but... Yeah, like, this is good. This is good. Oh, we killed one. Shit, 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 shit. Nice! Three out of four is not bad at all. Holy shit, that was well done. Oh, my God. Problem is, I don't have a prison anymore because I converted it into sleeping quarters. Here you go. Problem solved. We don't need a prison. We're only, like, ten episodes in. You don't need a prison. It was amazing. Oh, bio-coded. Obviously, we don't want the uh, any of the Lizion or flame weapons. Charge thumper, though. Those are kind of fun. Um, let's swap out Toongi. Because Anne, and I feel like the Sangophage faction, the main Sangophage faction, should be using the most high-tech gear. So we'll give you the the charge thumper. We'll give Bazaar to a charge weapon, too, if we've got any more lying around. Oh, look at that. I've turned on the hats, and it tells a completely different story. I mean, look at a Vulcan, Lilo, and Allo look amazing now that they've got those, they've got those hats all equipped. It suits with the ears really, really well. It makes sense they'd have open face helmets, right? Okay, not unwaveringly loyal is what we like to see. Crafting intellectual, fantastic. We'll send you to the crafting place. If we can start making advanced components rather than regular components, that would be ten out of ten. What about you? Crafting as well. Are they always genies? Because they have always been genies so far. Weird. Um, oh, unwaveringly loyal, you piece of shit. Okay, um, bioreactor then? I guess so. I, I mean, we'll just, we'll keep you in the bioreactor. That's the most humane thing to do. Where you're, you're, you're unconscious, you're in a dream world, and you'll never know. Because we can't exactly let you free, because they tried to assassinate Anne and Mona. But, and then the final person is again another genie, crafting an intellectual. Oh, cool. And not, oh, I was so unwaveringly low, you piece of shit. Um, fine, okay. We could always thrall them. I, I guess turn them into thrall puppets and then send them away, but that seems a little bit cheesy. I'm all right with this. I'm all right. Okay, whatever. So a couple were, uh, uh, a couple were unwaveringly loyal. We were basically handed them on a silver platter though, right? They really didn't put up a good fight there. I suppose for the time being, I don't mind right now if they just want to wear anything they can get their hands on. That's fine, because we haven't got a fabrication area, so we're not exactly <laughs> we're not exactly churning out dedicated weapons and armor. Give me out though. What if the the panlings, they're like our farmers, right? They nurture the crops, they feed our people. What if we just make them knights? Not for any particular reason, other than the fact that Mona just happens to have that great helm. A bunch of knight knightly vampiric chivalrous plant vampires. Every aesthetic we've got is so weird. And I think I love it. I will admit, Anne is like very generic, like very stereotypical. But that was by design. All the rest are going to be wacky as hell. The only thing we need for the cryogenerator now then is the neutramine. Like we've got everything else. We only need six more. So I guess I'll 
Oh, I guess I'll caravan out again. Okay, here we go. Let's go back to that gargoyle idea a second. There we are. Peculiar stand. Let's make it out of... Can we not make it... Oh, there we go. Out of slate blocks. Perfect. Because right now, Sigrun isn't doing anything. She's she's consuming a, an ungodly amount of hemogen. She is cleaning the floors, and that's kind of it. Only really skilled at melee, so turning you into a, into a gargoyle defender, I think it's kind of cool. I think that's a great use for you. There you go, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Oh, Look at that. See? Perfect. And in fact, I was looking through here. There are actually gargoyles added by the Dark Ages Crypts and Tombs mod. So I might slap some of these down in the... What do you think? Like in the throne room? Oh, you can't rotate them. Oh, no. Okay. Um, Maybe we put them in a specific throne room instead. Oh, maybe we put them in Evolka's throne room. Because they're spooky, spooky bats. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it is a gift. In fact, 103 is almost enough to build two of them. But we'll, we'll stick with that for the time being. What else you got for me? What else have you got for me? What other kind gifts for your soon-to-be Empress? You can't get up to Empress. Your soon-to-be High Stellark? Doesn't really have the same ring to it. They've got no gold, which I'm very disappointed by. I will take your medicine. I will take a little bit of uranium, because we actually could use that. And then I will fill up the rest of the pack animals with steel. There we go. Well, we could take a little bit more. Let's not go too crazy. Perfect. Okay. Oh, there's definitely nothing else I want here. Absolutely not. Goodbye. Pleasure doing business with you. We said she's out of food. She's not. She's got plenty of food. She's just being a uh, dick. I'm sick of the amount of time these people spend in death rest. It's very rude of them. So which one of these bloody buildings do you think speeds it up? I think it has to be the hemodynamic accelerator, right? So I'm going to slap like one of those down, two of those down. What is it? 450 steel. We can afford that, I think. Yeah, oh, shit, we got shitloads of steel now. 450 steel, 6 equipment, 10 hemogen bottles. We can easily afford that. What do you do? An advanced device designed to expedite the death rest process at the cost of blood consumption. By connecting with a death rest person, this apparatus employs intricate blood analysis and potent sanguine stimulants to maximize the efficiency of a death rest casket. Those are some very large words. It demands a continuous supply of hemogen. That's fine. Okay, well, we'll just build one of them. We might not need two. Um, let's throw it this side, because then I have to build less hemogen pipes as well. We can just connect it directly up like... Oh, yeah, like that. Oh, that looks amazing. Great, really just fantastic work. We do that. How is that off-center? Bruh. Oh, this death rest casket is three blocks this way, but this one's only... Oh, whatever. Who cares? Ooh. Ooh. Hello. A gift for my good friend, Anne. That could be very nice. Oh, my God. What? They're all getting into uniforms. Oh, this looks great, though. There it is. Currently inactive because I guess it's not. It's linked to Petit Pois. Do we have to build one of those per casket? I really just don't remember how it works at all. If we do, that's horrible. <laughs> I might have to build Anna a personal death rest room because that is, that is unacceptable. I, I can't afford to put this many of them down. We'd be sticking out, like, how many sanguifages have we got realistically? Like, they're all sanguifages. We'd have to throw down 11 of them. One, th one thing I have had to do, though, and I'll update the mod pack with this later, I've had to remove the infinite refuelables mod. That makes it so that things that you have to refuel are infinite. The reason I use that is because I like to use braziers and fireplaces as decoration. And by having that many refuelable buildings, in this case, it's going to be, like, over 100, right? Uh, almost 100. It can add a lot of lag because you've got, you know, in this case, like 90 to 100 buildings tracking their fuel independently and all ticking down. However, it did also make the hemogen network infinite. Obviously, we haven't done anything with it yet, so it didn't make any difference yet. But I don't want to affect the balance. I, you know, the whole point of this is to build a vampire empire, not to have an infinite blood vat. Oh, and at long last, sweet petit pois has become an adult th at the age of 13. That's not an adult. You're a tiny, horrible child. Crafting or cooking? Uh, you're not very good at either, I suppose. Cooking? Eccentric, diligent student, nudist, or no trait. Diligent student gives what? Skill learning if they have no passion uh, by 35%. Wow. And global learning factor up by another 15%. Shit, that's great. Oh, goods, trade a friend, bringing 74 more new training. Cloth, steel, another Vargolf. We don't need one, but they look incredible. So, of course, I'm going to buy one. That's basically bankrupted us, though. I'm going to convert in cups. Oh. Cups is now White Glove Society. Cups is not a sanguifage. Because I still haven't been able to put down a bounty on anybody because I spent all the money on new training. In fact, can we build this now? What's stopping us? Nothing. Toongi. We haven't got any gold. Why haven't we got any gold? 
How haven't we got any gold? What did I spend all the bloody gold on? I have no idea. Uh, uh, Tumgi, Tumgi, <laughs> quickly trade with them. See if they've got any gold. I can't afford it. Even if they've got it, I can't afford it. And even if they don't have it, I couldn't afford it anyway. What the hell is going on? These bold goods traders always come in twos like Noah's Ark or any lucky fellow who takes me out on a romantic meal. Let's have a look. Hello there. Do you have any gold? Shit. I'm going to have to caravan out again, aren't I? I just want my generator. Kids love mushrooms. <laughs> Here, take some freaking mushrooms. A little overboard with that, I will admit. I'll trade you mushrooms for neutramine and cloth and steel. You know, all my favorites. Have you got anything else? A little lovely typewriter? Psychic foil helmets? Ah, you're good. Shit, maybe I won't sell them so much. Oh, they've got another Vargulf. We've got a whole bloody stable of those at this point. Here, I'll just say slightly less. Slightly less mushrooms then. Didn't really expect that would be the backbone of my economy, but here we are. And another silent level for my friend Anne Green. How many has she got? She got four. Oh my god. So that means we get Sanguine Spear creating a blood mist explosion. We have Blood Right giving us an amplifier for psychic sensitivity. And then Blood Storm creates a blood mist on non hemogenic individuals causing intense vomiting. Sanguifages regenerate. Hemogen and don't gain psychic heat when casting effects under the bloodstorm. Wow. That's insane. Then I think look, I, I'm happy to give Anne because she's the she's the big cheese. She's the main dog. I think we give her all the paths. Necropath, Archon, Empath, Night Stalker Path, all of them. But I think first things first, we upgrade her and we make her better at what she does already. I think that's a good idea. We'll throw a few, uh, next few levels into Psycaster stats, increase the neural heat limit and, and blah, blah, blah. Then maybe up a level in death rest. So whenever she is death resting, we at least get some benefit out of it other than just her being unconscious for a few days. Oh, at long last, look at this, 14.99. I've been waiting forever to give Lilu this specialization. They've had a specialization in shooting for ages or they could have had. I thought, look, let's stick with research, right? Actually, do we want to go research? Because you've already got 20 research, and we could give Lilu drug synthesizing instead. Wouldn't that be a bad idea? Sure. Actually, let's do that. That seems like a good plan. And we'll put Lilu on drugs and uh, on drug production. Oh my god, it's done! I didn't even see it finish! 151 gold. Where did we get the gold from? Where did we get the gold from? Was it in someone's pocket? Was it in someone's pocket where I was hauling it over? Because clearly we've got more than enough gold. I was moving the whole stop power around, if you haven't noticed. Oh, shit. Oh, it's only minus 14 in there. That's really not bad at all. I mean, it's it's chilly, don't get me wrong, but the base is already quite chilly as it is. Oh, that's amazing. Because now that means we can just go... Oh, we can build another, right? We've got enough resources for a second one. We don't have enough chem fuel and advanced components. We can deal with that. That's not a big deal. Oh, shit. Man, that is so cool. That's just the cryo generator one, so I presume there's quite a few upgrades in there. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's that's very cool. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> ah, I hate you people. So, as the final thing to do, I've been... Uh, we've basically spent all of today carving out some caves. That was steel right there, so we do need to, we need to fill all this crap back in. That's bloody why, because they haven't been unloading the animals. Or at least I presume that's that's why. But what was the other? Was it Vargolf 1 that we also took with us? Look at this. We've got another 103 new trimmings sat on a big bat. <laughs> <laughs> you morons. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Rustica. Oh, the deserter. Hello. Ah, oh, finally. Hey, look, if we can get up to... What is that? That's 11 more skill. What do we need for advanced components? 50. And we've got 19. Oh, shit. Okay. We're not that far off, then. A couple more deserter raids with some genies, and we can have these people churning out advanced components instead. And it's 14. Well, my god, that's good. Don't think we'll get time to put the finishing touches on this today. Let's throw down some thrones. So this is going to be the throne for whoever is in charge of the crafter faction, and then we'll put another throne down for Evolka. I think I might make Cops in charge, even though Slippery's been here longer. Cops being a very masterful artist just makes so much sense to lead the artisans, right? Then we can finally... Oh, I can't reinstall the fabrication bench, you piece of shit. Okay, fine. Um... It's not like that's always been a thing. Then I'm going to build a dedicated room to each workbench. Something I've been threatening to do every series for as long as I remember. And something that I never do. Or at least I suppose types of workbench. 
So we'll throw down the art benches in here. There's also the uh, laser sculpting table, which I think produces jewelry, which is artistic speed. Um, the easel as well might make sense in, in that particular room. Wood. Sweet, precious wood as far as the eye can see. Look at this. <laughs> well, I would say that I've absolutely nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just great work. You just did amazing stuff today. Really inspiring. I haven't got any more slate. And the only way I get more slate is digging up more of the mountain. And if I dig up more of the mountain, I need more slate to finish the floors in the freaking mountain. I think we're going to... I've set the, the mining quarry to produce marble. We'll convert the marble over to slate at the stone cutting table. And everything will be fine. Have I bitten off more than I can chew? Was this far too much of a grand idea? Multiple vampiric bases all specialized in a particular way. Maybe. What I was going to do is I was going to copy the design of Anne's base and copy that over here. So we had like slate around the edge and then carpets in the middle. But I thought, no. Every base should be decorated in a different way. So that's exactly how we're going to do it. This base is going to be super high tech, as you would in every, any other uh, Glitternet base, because that's what they do. This one, I'm going to carpet over the whole thing. We're going to throw up a load of decorations and props and statues and the whole thing. We're going to make sure that this is luxury and fine art. Is it at all possible I might be here for the rest of my human life, Anne? Maybe. Maybe, goddammit, but this will be the greatest vampiric colony you've ever seen. Well, it might not be. I, I can't make that promise. It might be awful. It might not. It might fall completely flat on its face and look like complete shit. That's the best part. Sometimes it's good not to have a plan. Thank you for joining me. That's going on my epitaph. Not thank you for joining me. I mean, sometimes it's good not to have a plan, although both would be good. Thank you to Sabat. Moira, Valkyrie, Slater, Shadow, Shall I, Lions, Brittany Lee, Andrew Robichaud, Lundart, Space Urban Cohort, Sin of Pi, I Don't Know, I Just Vibe, Jax, Taff, Deadwoods, Methanius, Mike Freeman, Smack You, Evran, Zoe Meadows, Big Daddy, Mr. Hunk, Kira, Chase, Speck, Tristan Flanagan, Ken the Eagle, Walter Bledsoe, Shojas, and Hoopy as well for their support over on Patreon, over on the executive producer tiers of Patreon, of course. How could I forget? Thank you. Thank you for joining me. It's so warm in here. I've had to take so many breaks today because this room just, it gets so warm. What have we done? What have we done as a society, huh? This is your fault, Rim Rims. It's your fault. Thank you <laughs> to ever vigilant one slash junk loser user 359 granny guzzler david da van deepen blemished halo mickey j187 and the flying spaghetti monster as well goodbye i'm gonna go lie in the freezer